Hello students, in the previous videos I explained the transverse section of both dicot stem and monocot stem. Now in this video I am going to explain about the differences between dicot stem and monocot stem. Right. Okay, let's study these differences with respect to all the tissues from periphery to center. So, first tissue is epidermis. So, in dicot stem and monocot stem, epidermis is similar, but in the epidermis of dicot stem, trichomes are formed. So, trichomes are present. Trichomes or stem heads are present. What is the function of trichomes? They are involved in reducing the rate of transpiration and they may be secretory also. So these trichomes are present in dicot stem but they are absent in monocot stem. Right. Next coming to hypodermis. In case of hy uh, hy dicot stem, hypodermis is made of cholenchymatous tissue which is involved in providing mechanical support. So it is made up of cholenchyma. Cholenchyma. In case of monocot stem, this hypodermis is made up of sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma. And this cholenchyma is absent in monocot plant. Entire monocot plant body lacks cholenchyma. Right? Okay. Next, coming to ground tissue. So, in case of dicot stem, this ground tissue is differentiated. It is differentiated into Cortex, pericycle and pith. So, ground tissue which is present is differentiated into cortex, pericycle and pith. Into cortex, I am writing cortex as C, pericycle and pith. Right? In case of monocot stem, the ground tissue which is parenchymatous. Here also it is parenchymatous. The ground tissue which is parenchymatous tissue is undifferentiated. It is not differentiated into cortex, pericycle and pith. And hence in monocot stem, cortex that is general cortex, endodermis, pericycle and pith are absent. So it is not differentiated. So ground tissue is undifferentiated because of which, because of which endodermis, so endodermis, Pericycle, pericycle and pith are absent, are absent. Whereas in case of dicot stem, peri the endodermis, pericycle <coughs> and pith are present, absent, right? Next coming to vascular bundles. So, vascular bundles. What type of vascular bundles are present in uh, dicot stem? Vascular bundles. I am writing bundles as B. What type of vascular bundles? Conjoint open type of vascular bundles are present. In case of monocot stem, conjoint closed type of vascular bundles are present. So, conjoint open type. Open type of vascular bundles are present. In monocot stem, conjoint closed type of vascular bundles are present. Why these are open type? Because there is cambium in between phloem and xylem of a vascular bundle and hence they exhibit secondary growth. So, conjoint closed. Why these are closed? Because there is no cambium between phloem and xylem of a vascular bundle and hence monocot stem does not exhibit secondary growth. So, secondary growth is absent in case of monocot stem. But in case of dicot stem, secondary growth is present. Secondary growth occurs. Here secondary growth occurs. Right? Okay. Next difference about vascular bundles. So, these vascular bundles in dicot stem, they are not surrounded. These are uh, arranged in the form of ring. So, ring like arrangement of these are arranged in the form of ring. Ring like arrangement is present. And hence, what type of steel it is? U steel. Used in. Whereas in case of monocot stem, vascular bundles are scattered in ground tissue. Vascular bundles are scattered. So as they are scattered, the type of steel is called as 
what it is called as atacto steel it is called as atacto steel right okay next coming to another difference and these vascular bundles all these vascular bundles present in dicot stem are almost similar in size so these are almost similar in size whereas in case of monocot stem they are not similar in size they are dissimilar in size because the vascular bundles which are present towards periphery are smaller in size which are present towards center are larger in size so these are dissimilar in size they are similar in size and you can write down the vascular bundles which are present towards periphery are smaller in size towards center are larger in size periphery are smaller and towards center are larger in size vascular bundles right and in dicot stem vascular bundles are not surrounded by bundle sheath cells so here bundle sheath cells are absent bundle sheath cells they are absent in case of monocot stem bundle sheath cells are present bundle sheath cells right and in case of dicot stem phloem parenchyma is present phloem parenchyma is present in its phloem in the phloem of vascular bundles so so phloem parenchyma is present in the phloem of the vascular bundles of dicot stem in the phloem of vascular bundles of monocot stem phloem parenchyma is absent actually phloem is made up of what companion sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers among all these four elements phloem parenchyma is absent remaining the three elements of the phloem are present in case of the phloem of the vascular bundles of dicot stem all the four elements are present right and in the vascular bundles of dicot stem water containing cavities schizo lysigenous cavities water containing cavities water cavities are absent in xylem where they are present they are present in xylem what they are called they are called uh, schizo lysigenous cavities so here these water containing cavities are present and i want to give you some more points medullary rays so what are medullary rays medullary rays are the parenchymatous tissue which is present in the form of rays in between the vascular bundles they are called medullary rays so medullary rays are present in dicot stem but they are absent these medullary rays are absent in case of monocot stem medullary rays so medullary rays are the parenchymatous cells parenchymatous tissues which are in the form of rays between the vascular bundles these medullary rays are present in dicot stem absent in monocot stem so this is all about the differences between dicot stem and monocot stem and in the next video i'll be starting with the transfer section the section sorry longitudinal section of leaves that is dicot leaf and monocot leaf after studying that let's make the differences between dicot leaf and monocot leaf and even between stem and root of the plant hope you understood all these concepts thank you students